Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Light Earn It League. Um, we are playing Memphis today. Uh, we also have some breaking news because we have our first recruit as well. It's a tad late, but any recruit will be good at this point because we have a lot of rebuilding to do. Unfortunately, it is an outside linebacker and not who I thought it was going to be, but I'm okay with it. Even though our outside linebacker position doesn't seem to be struggling too much, we got Jesse Kraft. Um, pretty solid linebacker, I'm not going to lie. Uh, very good for a 4 3, so I'm happy about that. Good, strong guy, uh, good tackler. Um, has some potential to grow into something special. I'm a little light at 191, but I'll take it. And my boy Demarcus Towson jumps into the Heisen race after he has a phenomenal game last week. That's what I like to see. Finally, D-Town is getting the recognition he deserves. And we're only looking to build on it as we go from here. Fresher freshman already in the nomination. That is crazy. As you can see, not much has changed in the ranking. NC State still number two. Um, but we are shockingly still number 30th. We have not jumped at all. Which is unfortunate, but we're looking to jump forward this week after this Memphis win, if possible, because it looks like Memphis has quite the team. As you can see, Maurice Alexander is still in the middle of the pack passing, but D-Town is still holding off by a, a big margin of rushing yards as he leads the NCAA in rushing yards. Sage Lewis is still top five in tackling, so looking to see if he can try to hang on to that top tackling spot and possibly, possibly take home a linebacker of the year award. I'm going to play a good Memphis team today. Um, can't really say much. It's it's pretty obvious. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. Um, but if we win this, we might be able to sneak in the top 25 since this will be a good quality win, especially in conference. Let's see if we have what it takes. As you can see, we're still putting up good numbers offensively as we still hold a top five spot in points and a number one spot in rushing, which is no surprise with DeMarcus Townsend as, as hot as he is. Um, we do have one person visiting, which is Maurice Newby. Um, I'm hoping that we can pull him out. Um, it's very hard. It was a very hard fight to get to try to get him this season, and I'm hoping that we can squeak it out. He'll be a, a fantastic receiver, as he is the number one athlete. Well, Memphis loses the coin toss, and we elect a kick, and uh, their offense drives straight down the field on our defense, so not looking too great. Turns out that we're actually missing our starting defensive tackle, which isn't too big of a problem since we have a good D-line and depth at the D-tackle position, but um, nevertheless, they, they went down and scored seven. And that run definitely doesn't make anything better as we try to come back and make it a seven, seven all game on this drive. We're gonna have to get this drive moving a little bit because they're stuffing the run, unfortunately. Oh, and that freaking fat piece of crap left tackle couldn't get him. All right, well, three and out, bad look. Our defense comes in clutch when we needed it and gets a stop. Uh, don't, did not want to be trailing early in the game for the third game in a row. So hopefully we can get her moving. Jeez! <laughs> oh, I didn't know. He got me there. I'm not going to lie. He got me. I thought he was going to. I don't know what he was doing because he just froze. But Oh, there we go, Maloney. I needed it. I needed it. Let's go get this cookie rolling. We might have to rely on Marquise Alexander's arm today, but I like this look. See if we can get a run going. And we're off. Let's go. Oh! Alright, so we're going to be sliding today because these guys are hell-bent on just absolutely crushing all the ball carriers today. So, it's not like it's a bad look to run against. He's playing really wide, too. Good little six-yard run by DeMarcus. Ooh, making him fall, but can't escape the second guy. Nice little play. Maurice might have to be the workhorse today. Gonna try to sneak in the play that uh, D-Town 
scored on last week. The big 82-yard touchdown. See if we can get some more success. Oh, oh, we got we got some space and we tripped. That's not a good look. But regardless, still big 15-yard gain by Maurice Alexander. Ooh, a big sack. We oh my God, no. There's maybe we'll be able to sneak in a screen here. We can't. We cannot. Unfortunately, we get a big stop there by our defense, who is coming in clutch today. Nice to see that they show up when we are struggling on offense. Oh, come on, guys, hold your blocks. If you can hold the box, we can get a little bit more out of that. Fights for the first and does not get hurt. That's what I like to see. A lot of these defenses that they're showing today are really concerning, and I, and they're like, I can't really explain it. Like they're unusual. Rely on some passing today. C.J. Wharton with a nice 12-yard reception, and Maurice Alexander is hot, so definitely looking to strike here. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, and he, of course. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Had a good play call, but unfortunately Maurice throwing a little too low and these sliders made us pay for it. Defense coming up big again. You're getting shut out right now, but the defense is holding strong, forcing them to punt it back to us. And we had no reason to get the ball back. <sighs> Dang. Trying to bust off a big run here, but it's Memphis is locking it up right now, unfortunately. Sterling Palmer getting a big catch right there, getting this first. I'm gonna go no huddle here. Hoping to take advantage of this. Hot streak that Maurice is. Oh no, he's cold now. Cool. Nobody's covering our dog in the flat. Ooh, Maurice. Getting open. Only able to squeak out a six yard gain. Oh, try to set up a block there. Could not squeak out to press. And whole shot, and Singleton holds on to a tough catch. Good catch by Bryce. They are pounding us, dude. Starting off a little warm this game. Ooh, Maurice gets clapped, but... Or DeMarcus gets clapped. Good little throw. Good throw. Nice little touch pass right past the linebacker. Not looking at man here. But we're going to take off, hopefully. Oh. Looking to catch him sleeping on the read option again. And it looks like we'll be able to walk in unscathed. That was enough to hold them off from scoring before half. And we get the ball to start off with. No, was, they like cover that up. They had three people on them. <laughs> what the heck? Ooh, gets loose. Nice little nine yard gain. Gets it to a third and manageable. Maurice getting a pass to Bryce, and Bryce gets leveled. But he's making some tough grabs today, and that'll continue this drive. Not gonna lie though, Bryce is definitely gonna be having a words, a couple of words for Bri Maurice after the game because I don't think he appreciates getting blown up like this, and I don't blame him. 
Looking to hit Sterling here. Oh, and Sterling is going to bust off a big one. Showing him his speed. He might. Oh, and he gets hopped. Gets tripped up by the shoelaces. It was looking really promising there. The tight end was showing some incredible breakaway speed for a second. This is a look we like to see. And he gets to the edge. And that's a touchdown for D-Town. Getting back on the board. The Heisman candidate looking to break out this second half, hopefully. Memphis offense is finally realizing that they need to score points if they want to win this game. And we're looking at a shootout in the second half. But it is looking. Maurice airmails a throw. Hits Maloney right in the face as a receiver today. Got a nice little play drawn up here. Maurice Alexander already had 21 passing attempts for the game, which is very unusual to see for this team. Uh oh, this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. Oh, had one man to beat. We might be able to get a screen here. And we can. I like that look. Oh, and just barely squeak it. There we go. A bubble screen would have been a lot better, but I'll take the first down. Bryce Singleton getting it done receiving today. Season high in attempts for sure. There we go. Get him slipping. And Maurice or Townsend looks stupid slow there. I thought he was going to be able to bust off a big, big reception, but not the case. Might be risking one here. Don't like this look against this usually, but Maloney slipping out gets the touchdown. After a big time Dorian Hall interception, we get the ball back inside their 25. This could put them away. <sighs> the pass a little bit more here. CJ Wharton getting it done in a big physical stiff arm gets him in the end zone. Maurice Alexander pulling us through today outside of the one errant pick. And we pull ahead 14 after the big time interception by Dorian Hall. Perfect throw. Defense is doing the thing today. They hold them off from scoring after they drive almost the entire length of the field and force four. Fourth down stop. This could be dangerous. Oh. Have a possibly good play here if we can get it blocked. Oh gosh, this defense just does not want to get shook. Bryce Singleton getting it done again. Big 19 yard reception and almost shaking one loose there. They are going to play that. Based on this look, we should be able to get something here. And, of course, we don't have... We got the white boy, unfortunately. Looking to give that to DeMarcus Townsend. Get him 100 yards. Getting a little selfish here. <laughs> D-Town gets loose, and he's going to walk in for the touchdown. And that'll put us over 250 yards for the game. Defense does it again as Richard Dames... Gets a gets a adds to another interception, killing the hopes for any type of comeback that Memphis can give. Oh, we got a big play by D-Town, and he gets freaking Superman dived. Maurice Alexander deservingly, righteously so, getting the player of the game. Absolutely pulled us through today in this victory. Offense not looking the best today, but definitely still put up a bunch of points. And, or, yeah, points and yards as we 
total of almost 450 yards with three touchdowns on the ground and in the air. Season high, 26 completions and 30 attempts for Maurice. Definitely was letting it rip today. Um, I'm glad he was feeling good because that ultimately is what helped this game out a lot. We were struggling to run the ball, unfortunately, for D-Town. Um, hopefully that won't hurt him in the Heisman run too much. As you can see, good day for Maurice. Had one bonehead pick, but was on fire completion-wise. 86% completions. D-Town finishing off with 100 yards rushing. Barely hitting the three-digit mark. And a touchdown. Maurice Alexander getting it done with 56. And Austin Maloney with a big-time touchdown off of a 25-yard rush. Bryce. Wow. I thought Bryce would be leading, but definitely was trying to feed Demarcus Townsend. Uh, had a, a season high nine receptions and a touchdown. Um, but Bryce Singleton was the one really getting it done in the air. If we're going to talk about consistently getting it done. Townsend was a lot of screens, but Singleton was... The workhorse today in the receiving core. Um, hard fought 65 yards and was making a lot of contested catches, getting absolutely smashed. So, good day for him. Very proud of him. Defense coming in through, coming through today. Defense coming through today. Really the, the shining star of this game, if anything. Absolutely dominant performance. Um, forcing turnovers, stopping them short. Richard Dames and Dorian Hall with two big picks. Couldn't have asked them to play a better game today. Might be their best performance all year so far. Turns out we're actually going to be missing our defensive tackle for like pretty much the rest of the regular season. Um, might make an appearance in a bowl game depending on when we have it. But I think the reason that they couldn't do anything was they had an, a quarterback go down. I'm pretty sure that's their starting quarterback. So probably we're struggling. And I'm pretty sure Memphis is a passing team. So a bunch of stuff that happened. Uh, don't know if that's for certain what, why we did so well. But it doesn't matter because our defense did good. After that big performance, Maurice pushes himself into the top 40 for passing yards. Don't think he'll, he'll uh, be able to do enough to match the same amount of production that Demarcus is having on the ground compared to everybody else, but still looking pretty good for a run-heavy team. Demarcus Townsend almost touching the century or the the thousand-yard mark as he's winning by a landslide in top rushing leader. Sage putting himself at second after a good performance today. Don't know if at this rate he'll be able to hold on for much longer though. Um, seems like SMU is holding in their own. I uh, don't know exactly why that is because they're getting beat a lot. So either their mic is making tackles or they're not making any tackles at all. So, well, that about does it today. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure if you are you're interested, you check the link in the description. There will be a, um, a URL for the website for our leagues. And if you like what you see, I encourage you to get in touch with the, the commissioner. But thank you for watching. Um, I will see you next video. Have a nice day.